Guys, what's up? This is Mobin. So the mini bean today is about the cluster headaches. Cluster headaches are the only chronic headache syndrome that is more common in men than women. Two third of the men compared to women. The other thing is that it is usually nocturnal. 50% of the men complain of this issue at night. It is a deep, excruciating, explosive, non-fluctuating, severe pain that occurs retroorbital and then spreads to one half of the cranium, hemicranium. The episodes occur about 8 to 10 weeks, so weeks to months in one year, and then there is a gap for about a year and then it occurs again. Such episodes are called cluster headache and if the episodes occur after each other and there is no remission, there is no gap of that one year without treatment or the remission is lesser than a month without treatment, then that is called chronic cluster headache. The cluster headache seems to be because of the pacemaker neurons or because of the circadian rhythm neuron in the posterior hypothalamus and their dysfunction. Usually what happens is that with that dysfunction, parasympathetic system dysfunctions as well and that causes lacrimation and renoria and stuffy nose and, and even Horner syndrome and pallor. But again on one side, sympathetic effect may be present as well. A couple of important differences between the cluster headache and migraine are interesting. Number one, the patient of cluster headache, usually they pace around, they move, they, they rub their head, they want the pain to go away, they're agitated, they're irritated, they're angry. On the other hand, the patient of a migraine tends to be motionless and quiet and at rest. The other difference is that migraine is usually associated with nausea and vomiting, but there is no nausea or vomiting in cluster headaches. The uh, most effective and rapid treatment for the acute attack is 100% oxygen therapy. One can give subcutaneous verapamil or nasal verapamil or other like indomethacin, other treatments, but these are not as rapid and effective as 100% pure oxygen. So that is a treatment of choice. In case of prophylaxis, as soon as the patient gets the first attack, what happens is patient should start on verapamil and that will be the prophylactic uh, medicine. Again, for prophylaxis as well, there are more medicines, for example, er ergots or indomethacin or NSAIDs. However, verapamil is usually started right away. For the chronic uh, headache, cluster headache, lithium is used as the treatment. If you want to see more of these videos, please like and subscribe to this channel and also share it with your friends. Thank you.